Yes! I'm going to do a terrific show today, and I'm going to help people because I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. Okay. Oh, every time, it's a big stress. It's a big, big stressful thing. I try to get stuff working in a piece of software that I'm not familiar with. I think I've got it nailed down, and then... Okay, what's going on here? Share screen, share screen, window, this, there. That's what I want. This is what I'm working on. Uh, okay, let's see if I can keep an eye on the comments here. Thanks, Sully. <clears throat> yeah, it's easy when all you have to do is press play. I um, have always said in the past, you know, don't worry about it. <clears throat> There's not a button you can hit on this computer that's going to make you break it you know just you know get into it learn how to use it whatever well apparently if you're dealing with obs there is a button that you can hit at the very last second that will ruin everything which is basically uh what happened there so i had to stop everything copy all sorts of stuff and go back to uh run home to mama and use uh stream yards so yeah Anyways, so in, in uh, Divinity, I was actually thinking of uh, you right at the last second there because if I'm not mistaken, you have some experience using OBS or at least you're better at it than I am because I, I believe I remember seeing you do a stream with somebody on the other end telling you that they could hear you, couldn't hear you, could see you, couldn't see you and, and, and all that stuff. I remember seeing that. Uh, which is exactly what I need. So let's see if I can um, pull up what's going on here. Um, originally, when I had uh, this this page up, I had something different in these first two panels. And in this last panel uh, right here, I had this with, I had this last panel over to the right. ABC is going to help me out tons. And yeah, right. I think it was, I think that, yeah, because I don't remember seeing you with Madcore. Um, anyways, but this is our hero. And I have to find, let me see if I can, I want to open up. Is this it? Yeah, this is what the page used to look like. 
and um, it was like a little bit confusing going from page three to this page. Um, I might be able to uh, show you guys something in. I'm actually going to wait on that because there's too much stuff going on. I'll end up I'll end up confusing myself. I think two monitors is supposed to make life easy until it takes like five or six drags of the mouse to get from one end of it to the other, even with your fastest setting turned on. But um, so what I'm, I'm working in Clip Studio Paint, which is a comic book or it used to be called Manga Studio, but it's a, a, you know, it's a program that helps you make you know, comics. It's a lot like Photoshop. If you could see what was going on over on the side, you'd see a lot of layers. Um, you can take a lot of stuff away, uh, add things like I can, I can take the blast away from the shotgun. Um, I can take the wood, the, uh, the, the wood floors out and uh, all the, the grays and, and all that stuff. So what I'm working on here is is taking the uh, that original page and and editing it so that the the story flo flows a little bit more. So our hero is <clears throat> leading a bad guy from uh, up the stairs so that he can find uh, children that need to be rescued. And I don't know if you can tell because it's black and white, but he has a meat hook going uh, through, which is our our character's uh, name. He has a meat hook between his legs and one around his around his neck there you can see right there and he's basically using him as a human shield um where our our, our bad guy tweaker friend uh sees somebody coming around the corner and shoots first and asks questions later rendering one bad guy uh, faceless and dead right there at the top of the steps so uh, I moved some stuff around. I added the shadow to um, I added the shadow right here to uh, sort of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Give the reader a little bit of a pre uh, premonition or um, a preview of what's happening in the next panel, where our crazy shotgun guy is jumping over that that railing <clears throat> onto the next flight of steps and chasing. Our, our buddy meat hook down in the basement so yeah i'm gonna have to uh, uh let's see yeah um his his i'm gonna color in his pants a little bit so that you will be able to see um you'll be able to see that meat hook against the uh, against the color there so i had a um a um, couple of photo references of somebody jumping over a fence and then I'm trying to make it look not stiff. Thanks. Yeah, this is, um, I've been thinking about this since, I mean, my daughter, who's now 26, since she was uh, two, I've been thinking about this character. And over the years, he's he's been refined into, excuse me, I've been uh, sucking down some some Miller lights with my, uh, my trash compactor show uh, koozie. And uh, basically, this is a story. He's trying to get his uh, his his daughter was kidnapped. He's trying to get her back, and um, and uh, it's you know she's been taken by some pretty bad guys who have really bad intentions. Think um, all the worst parts of uh, the news today. You know, human trafficking and all that stuff. Um, but. Uh, Really, things really didn't come into um, uh, they didn't get solid in my head until I was at a uh, I was working a car show with all my pinstriping stuff and and I you know I saw the one of the hot rods that this guy was asking me about he needed some paint work on it done and uh, it was a friend of uh, a husband of one of my wife's friends and uh, he's a he was a Pittsburgh cop. And I thought to myself, oh, uh, that's actually not a bad angle. Um, you know, if something like this was going to get pulled off and today, you would have to have uh, friends. You wouldn't be able to do it. Like, there's no such thing as a, you can't do Batman. Uh, nobody's that rich. Nobody's got that kind of time. <laughs> 
and um, you can't do Iron Man. That technology doesn't exist. But uh, with a little help from your friends, you can probably make something uh, happen if they're all, if, if you know, if they're all of a like mind. So that's basically what's happening here. Um, just want to make sure that I've got. my my kind of my scene laid out and i'll and end up inking this guy or that is to say put the black line art in come on oh it's saving so it's giving me a second so <clears throat> so there's that but think um iron man or batman on a budget where you're not um, going out there with all of the super most technological stuff. Uh, you might get some help from your friends, but uh, everything's basically been pounded out and, um, and shaped from, from a mechanical, like a body shop perspective. Uh, our, our main character is a, um, he's a, he's like a, fabricator machinists those guys that you would see on monster garage you know they can you know make anything out of a piece of metal and um and that's what he does he owns a hot rod shop and um that's where most of his friends are from they're all from his they're not from his car club but he's done you know work for this uh for this car club but he has his buddies he has his his cop friend and he has his eventually will meet a like a defense attorney friend and all the different things that you might need to pull something like this off you know you can't you can't have it all in one character you have to be able to spread those talents out so anyways if uh Anybody wanted to, I think uh, in, in Discord, I threw out some StreamYard links if you think it's easier to talk versus type. So I'm just going to keep drawing until I see somebody ask me a question. What's up, Hex Allen? How you doing? Uh, you're from the Twitter side of the tracks, I believe. Is that the link from uh, um, from Brian's uh, horror show club thing? Yeah, dude, I'm uh, really, I mean, I wanted to get this stream going because I, I need to do one for myself. I can't just keep showing up in other people's, uh, you know, streams and and talking about stuff that's although very much fun and I can't wait. I'm, I'm working days this week and next week so I can actually show up for his stream uh, tomorrow. And um, I don't know if you've noticed, like I've been putting links in that thing about the, uh, I think it's the 70, the 70, or the 71 uh, Plymouth Cuda in Phantasm. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to get into that because it's, I mean, I believe it's, what's up, Darth? Uh, I believe it's a much better movie than the, the, the last couple that we've, uh, that we've been discussing. Not that they're bad, I just, this one's better. You know what? Um, I might need to go over here and throw out some wrenches. Let's wait for my chat to warm up.
Like, I don't know why YouTube does that. Oops, wrong eraser. E. There it is. Yeah, the chat will hang there for like a second and then uh, I won't be able to. Let's see. I'm throwing wrenches out. I'm not saying like I'm not saying I know that I I can I can trust you. Uh, <laughs> I was wondering about that flag. <laughs> uh, now I now I know uh, now I know who and what you are, for sure. I can throw one out to Sully, even though she's not in here yet, or she was. Or is she? I don't know. She's she's multitasking, more than likely. All right, let's get back over the stream here. I can see what's going on. So, oh yeah, well I can always I can always, you know, take them back. Um, right. I mean, I used to have a wrench and experts room. Uh, and I don't have one anymore, and this is actually the first time I've ever said anything about it. I was curious about how calm I was. You know, people like, well, I wasn't surprised. It's just people can, like, I don't want to say, like, really get bent out of shape, but it's important to them. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, I, and I think that's one of the reasons why he ended up taking my wrench. One there might be a lack of consistency in like when I can see it and he's really trying hard to, you know, to build a channel and, you know, so I don't begrudge him that, but also I think I might've been like a little too free with it. Not that I was letting porn bots in or anything, but if I see something that's like, hell yeah, free speech, whatever you want to say, just say it. And, and he's trying to be a little bit more, um, what would you call it? Um, uh, selective, with uh, the things that uh, the, the things that people say, you know, like I don't, I didn't want him to get a strike. If you, if it's possible to get a strike for something like that, this looks like a dwarf foot, ankle, sharp like this, kind of. Uh, no, in fact, Darth, I don't know how you feel about the blue wrench. It is, is this a thing where? Uh, if if I happen to take it away, that we won't be friends anymore, even if it's by mistake, like an oops. Because if you weren't here before, I explained like I had a whole new link through Streamyards because um, I I couldn't get OBS to do what I wanted it to, or at least I did, and then I I hit the wrong thing and it was just wrong. Oh, well, okay. So you guys know each other already, or what? Allow, allow, allow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let everything in. It's not like that. Uh, <laughs> maybe that would make actually that would make a good meme. You do the a movie post for let the right one in. And uh, have it be all this is. This looks like he's wearing a freaking sock. I'm going to have to do a little bit more pencil work on this. This foot's all wrong. Leave it to me to um, pick challenging angles and stuff. I need to get away from this thing where, um, where I, I I pick my poses because they're difficult for me to draw, and I feel like every panel is a trip to the artistic weight room. Um. I don't want to necessarily live my life inside of some sort of comfort zone, but at the same time, the freaking book has to get finished. Uh, I made the mistake of getting excited and starting the uh, you know starting the drawing process, and I got like four pages, what I considered to be like done and lettered and in grayscale, and and I, I was pretty happy with it. And then I started getting um, more experienced third-party opinions, specifically from 
the uh, the guy who's helping me write the book. And um, he's like, well, there's some things that are confusing here or whatever, which is, you know, I, I've read some books that are done by the guy that is a one man band, everything from the writing and the drawing and, and the editing and you know, doing the editing yourself is really where the downfall is because um, you're only going to be looking at the book from, from your perspective and it can lead to, it's almost like people have to get to know you well enough to know what you meant when you wrote that, or there's too much exposition or there's not enough. And uh, that's the trap. I was falling into the, the former. Too much exposition, trying to tell uh, too much of the too much of the story all at once on the first couple of pages, and not letting it um, you know, percolate, and and uh, not letting my my readers have have fun with it. Here, I'll put some stripes on the side of his shoe, here, just to. Um, pay tribute to the heavy use of Trax sneakers in uh, Phantasm. Being a, what was it, 1978 or 79? Uh, I don't believe that we as a society had been introduced yet to uh, to Nike. But when I was a kid, I remember having a couple of pairs of Trax. T-R-A-X. Yeah, that's gonna be a fun. That's gonna be a fun stream tomorrow. That was such a weird movie. Really? <laughs> I was nine. <laughs> yeah. You can say you weren't even born yet. At least I can say that you were more naive than I was, and and even then. I might be uh, giving myself too much credit. Man, really? See, and, and um, Robin's getting ready to, to leave town, I guess. And I was texting her and she's like, oh, I can't, I'm not going to be able to make it or whatever. To, you know, because I hardly ever do this. I need I need to do more of it. I need to find the time to do more of it. But uh, um, I told her I got, I got boomer juice all over my OBS software. And that's why I had to like redo stuff. And I'm sure like... From upstairs, you know, my family can hear me dropping the F-bomb. Where is it? Fuck is what I'm thinking. Fuck is what I'm thinking. End of the 80s. I've seen the words air guitar were used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1989 was a great year for movies. Uh, was a, that was a good year for Germany, too, if I'm not mistaken. better shoe i might be cleaning some of this stuff up later uh, but or at least maybe you're like readjusting it but for right now i just want to feel the uh i want to i want to feel the groove Well, uh, I believe that was the year that the wall came down, wasn't it? Was it 89 or 91? I thought it was 89. Uh, who is your favorite YouTuber, Darth? I'm surprised any, anybody from, uh, from the comics room was over here. Um, I know Ethan's doing a uh, comic gate, comics gate Kings right now, but, uh, I'll take, I'll, I'll take what I can get. I appreciate you guys being here.
Oh, okay. Where is he from? Because um, I, I, every time I listen to him, I'm like, where, I cannot figure out. I cannot figure out that accent to, to save my life. It's gonna be all. It's gonna be all wrong. This has got to have more of a twist. Seam should go like there. Uh, uh, really? Uh, maybe. I mean, you're talking. Well, I guess that's. Right. I mean, it's like like you try to understand, like figure out where like Stefan Molyneux is from, and uh, when he says Canada, or like um, who else has a? It's not. It's like an accent. It's like a. It's an. It's like a, an amalgam of them, like a mishmash of a di bunch of different places. Um, is uh, Mark Stein? He, he, he you, you guess English first off, but he's been in so many different places. It sounds mostly English, but it's uh, a little bit of everything. And Canada is one of them. Yeah, that's what I figured. I thought it was 1989. That was the year that I saw all the all the movies that I saw. I saw them all 15 minutes after they started because I like worked in the movie theater and I had to wait until everybody was done getting their popcorn and sat down and blah blah blah. And then I could go uh, watch. It was like a whole that everything that came out that year. It was like why well, I had to watch the beginning of it. Like in Roadhouse when Patrick Swayze tosses that homeless guy his keys. It's like, oh, I didn't know that happened. I just thought I started kicking ass immediately. They live. I didn't. I didn't see a homeless Roddy Piper. I only saw the. Uh, I, I saw from. It was from a couple of. Saw him from stealing the sunglasses. Fifty minutes into the. Fifty minutes into every movie that year. That's what I saw. Incidentally, um, I ended up with a whole like. Like one hundred copies of that movie poster. Has anybody ever seen it? The movie poster for They Live? Let's see if I can find it here. They, yeah. There we go. Okay, so, I mean, I thought it was fun, but uh, what do we get? So I had 100 copies of this, and when I moved into my first apartment, the it was uh, it was in the basement of my, my buddy's house. It was, it was The whole thing was set up like a like an apartment. So he moved down there. I moved down there. His family's upstairs. Long story short, the one bedroom that I was in had nothing. It was all Holly Hobby wallpaper. And I wasn't about to just get wallpaper or anything like that. I was, I was busy. So I got a bunch of thumbtacks, a bunch of these posters, and I put them up all over the inside of the room. And it was real freaky whenever I was done because, like, you know, no matter where you looked, there was Rowdy Roddy Piper and this alien face looking right back at you. And uh, it was it was uh, it was quite a trip. You know, add that to it was I was in my twenties, so I was you know smoking and dropping things that I. Probably well, I bet I don't anymore. And uh, well, gosh darn it, that's pretty trippy. Okay, let's see. I don't want this here. I don't want. 
this to come back. Let's see. Not even sure how that should go. Yes. Sweating the sweating the details already. What is the alternative? Oh, Holly Hobby? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, not not easy to uh, bring a girl back to your place and say, yeah, this is where I live uh, for now. I wasn't living with my mom. I was living with somebody else's mom, of course. Um, but um, yeah. So you're into Holly Hobby. <laughs> no, you can't. Yeah. You know. In fact, I mean, I'm 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 probably freaking somebody out in this day and age. It would, you know, chicks were braver, you know, back then. But to have a bunch of eyeballs staring at you, isn't exactly a, you know, it doesn't exactly give you that. Yes, everything's going to be okay now. Vibe. So preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. That was the uh, that, that was growing up in the eighties. Didn't stop to think if they should. Eminem and Slipknot at at once. That's like an like a like an audio for loco. <laughs> it's like give me all the caffeine and all the alcohol in one drink, uppers and downers at once. I was still listening to classic rock at that point. And it was like Guns N' Roses was was uh, was brand new, and I was still like, oh man, I don't know. It's it's good, okay, but um, I, I just I, I honestly don't know where I get this from. But I tend to avoid I tend to avoid whatever it is that the group is doing, watching, listening to. I mean, like I didn't watch Silence of the Lambs until it had been out on HBO for like three months. Right. Yeah, the posters you can, yeah. <clears throat> so when and and let me know if anybody else does this, because I this is one of the things I love to have IMDB for is if I'm watching a movie that really sucks me and they're really really doing a good job, or even if there's something that's mildly unique, like the rest of the movie can be total crap. But there's a couple of interesting, um, maybe sort of original ideas. I'll go to IMDb and I'll start looking around for what this director slash whoever has ever done. And um, I think it was. It wasn't Fight Club. It wasn't uh, Alien. I think it was. Uh, it wasn't Alien Three. It wasn't Fight Club. So one of his other movies, and it had, and I mean, the game was one of his early ones, but um, David Seven, maybe it was Seven. David Fincher's uh, one of my one of my favorite directors. You watch random illustrators on YouTube; it's a very counterculture. 
Um, have you ever watched um, uh, Drew Struzan? Uh, my wife got me the his uh, DVD on painting the Hel a Hellboy poster, which I don't think they ended up using. Which is, might be one of the reasons why he was able to use that one for his for his video. But it was um, who directed that? Guillermo del Toro wanted the studio to have him do the movie poster, and for I, I can't remember unless they did, and I'm mistaken it, but. Um, the one that he demonstrated in that video was just amazing. And he went through the whole thing, like compositions and, um, you know, like black and white stuff. Of course, he does a lot of a lot of tracing. Um, you know, works with a big opaque projector. And his studio, the whole wall is lined with cabinets that are just full of – and and imagine uh, um like just a bunch of drawers one next to the other and each one of them can hold you know 50 or 60 you know colored pencil and each one of them the the knob on the drawer is the color of the colored pencil that's in the drawer and it's like he's just got so many of them he'll never run out because most of what he does is all is is colored pencil a lot of the airbrush that he puts in there's just for some simple blends and um, texture effects he doesn't he doesn't illustrate with an airbrush the way a traditional airbrush illustrator does I want that book to look like it's going out in the distance but I don't know if I need it to be foreshortened that much and I may end up you know Tipping that one out that way. You don't know. So the only downfall of being able to do this after work is that um, <clears throat> I, I, uh, I, I work earlier in the morning, so and there's always this other stuff to do, finding time to sit down and really concentrate on something and then, you know, try to set up a stream and then have it go south on you. It's enough to make you not want to um, work with OBS. Okay, I appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, Divinity. Yeah. Sports with the kiddo. You run that energy out of them. Okay, let's see. I've got elbow here. Let's do this arm. Deltoid. Middle of the deltoid. What's up, Jimmy? You guys have almost the exact same avatar, at least from where I'm looking. It's all black and red. I almost thought you were the same person. Now, Jimmy's a guy. He's got a channel that he actually grows with uh, some regularity. And I think uh, I end up being my own worst enemy because I try to do a bunch of different subjects, like do a review, do an unboxing, do some uh, custom paint pinstripe stuff, you know, when I get a chance. So it's not like, okay, I'm going to do a video. And then and the next 15 minutes is all. <laughs> oh, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Yeah, 15 minutes deciding on what it is that you're going to do and then think about, okay, what do I have to do after that, this, or what's going to, is there is there something that I'm going to have to do or or uh, what's going to, um, I'm always, I'm, I'm always worried about interruptions, whether it's, a, and that, I mean, and it's bad enough that I, I tend to, I'll, I'll get, 
what, 10 minutes into a project and then go, uh, this is too quiet here. I need to listen to something. And then why am I doing this with nobody watching? So, you know, I start it and then stop it and then start it and then stop it. And then um, it just it gets aggravating. I aggravate myself. Well, you're throwing, uh, throwing compliments out like left and right. Mad props. Is that what I'm doing? Am I tubing? Am, am I a tuber of the U? You know who's really good at doing this um, on his own? I, I'm a lot better if there's actually somebody uh, in the, if there's somebody talking that I can talk back to. Um, but uh, Eric Weathers is really good at doing this on his own. He's a, he's a funny guy. And like super talented. I can't believe it's, and maybe he just knows what his own stress level would be if he were to do um, mostly art and why he concentrates on lettering because he's really good at both. Um, Battle Brick Road uh, Two comes out. It's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. Knuckle, knuckle, knuckle. Okay, I'll s tie that up later. But I would, like with his arm, I'm trying to get this. Like when you're you're jumping over something, and I'm, I'm trying to get this weird, I'm trying to get this weird angle, and most of it's gonna depend on, like selling it is gonna depend on how the how the light hits it from wherever the light's coming from, probably from here. So a lot of the, in fact, why don't I give myself a little bit of a boost? Go back to the pencils. And there's a reason why this channel is called Comic Artist Evolution, because um, there's a lot of like learning as I go. And it's not just like, yes, I know how to draw something and that's great. But a lot of times when you're doing um, a custom paint, it's rare that you end up doing something that you, you make up out of whole cloth. Very often you're being a human photocopier, you know, somebody's portrait. Um, there's going to be some lettering, you know, you're never doing, you're almost never doing something like this where you're you're creating images without a reference. Um, well, I figured it was going to come from. I don't know if you can even from. Well, anyways, from the top, from the top corner, that, you want to talk about a run home to mama thing? That's basically that. That's it. Unless I know that I'm, you know, like I've got a character who is, um, what do you call it? Like sitting at a campfire, you know, or I know I want him to look evil, so I light it from the bottom. Um, that is definitely a go-to upper left light source is something that I do a lot of. Mm -hmm. Context, something that is sorely lacking in almost everything else today. So let's see. This is going to... He's trying to block in some some shadow.
shotgun. Okay. This ought to help a little bit more. Keep my head straight. Because I, I do need to not be so scared to use um, <clears throat> heavy blacks. It can be um, intimidating. I'm going to keep that either. I'll probably want to wait before I start putting those in. That part I liked. Unless So, so how's everybody's week been? I got some, I got some stories I can tell you about, um, about shit. Like literally anyone, anyone game, if you're still in here. <laughs> I know you're curious. Okay. Um, once upon a time, uh, Dave bought a house with a very old septic tank. <laughs> and uh, then um, one day, that old house with that old septic tank started acting in an unorderly manner. Yeah. I actually, well, I'm not going to dig it up right now because... It'll it'll probably take forever and um, but I did uh, I did I believe I showed the expert some footage or I took an action camera and and put it down in into the septic tank so I could see what was actually going on but uh, if anybody if if you understand the science behind the way a septic tank works um, it's might even be considered fascinating by some. Uh, I have had to learn a lot about it. Yeah, it's not uh, actually, um, this is an old single stage. I believe it's a one chamber. And we, um, we put a deck on the back of the house. And the deck goes right over where this thing that's failing is. Um, but I do have some creative people who think that we can not necessarily dig it up. We don't need to do that. But what I believe is the, um, oh yeah, no kidding. 
Well, I, uh, what's happening uh, is that the, um, geez, I've learned so much every time one of the, you know, guys comes over to pump it out. The first thing he says is, what kind of a stupid setup is this? <laughs> and, uh, oh, that's, a, that's all right. I'm talking to Cool Frog. Cool Frog is apologizing for not being here. That's fine. Um, that the, that the, the gases that are created in a septic system are so um, caustic that they will corrode metal and cement. Metal, of course, but, uh, but cement. And that this tank is old enough to where the concrete that it's made out of is probably as thin as a sidewalk paver. And uh, what's happened is that the lid has fallen in and um, what I'm planning on doing is, because right now the waste stack goes into the ground of the basement and then it takes a turn and goes out. Like they put in the septic and then they poured this concrete over the waste stack. What I plan on doing is cutting that short, putting it through the wall and having that go across and over the top of the old one and connect with a new one it's a little bit like out into the yard and easily accessible. Oh, he's okay, I guess. Well, in fact, let's see what is Madcore talking about. Real quick, let's see if I can find it. What a brave tab. Oh, I don't need that. Because the whole mod, if someone's coming to your clothes and shit, do whatever. I don't care. But um, I think it's a bit wrong. I've never stream sniped speech. anyone before. Anyone it feels weird. Freedom of speech, I guess. Yeah, you know? they can hate on me. I don't give a crap. I just, I just, I just don't want no one in chat hating on other people in, in chat. You know, and it's just, I, I think that's a, a shit community, and I don't want that. You guys can hate on me as much as you want. I'm gonna give a crap, you know. <laughs> bring it, yeah, bring it. Jessica okay. will always be my mod, no matter what. <laughs> always. So, I'll make you a mod so you can get the mod hate. No, you, I don't. Voice, no, I don't want to be a mod on your channel. Hell no. I've seen what happened last night. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Darth is over there throwing, <laughs> throwing shade. Just do what I do with it when, when you don't uh, want it's it. That's awesome. Simply just don't use it. Eventually, they will take it away. Oh, I know. Like You know what? That's you know, He's absolutely right. Darth, that, that, that. <laughs> Never seen any shit here. We're usually laughing. Exactly. You know, I laugh at shit. I That's encourage correct. people. Hate moves yeah, faster than the speed you know, of light. That gives me the chance to retaliate back. <laughs> Crazy. So what, how long are we streaming for? I, I do want to make this too much of a long, long stream because I just wanted to talk about your strike and see what's going to happen once you come it, back and it, it gave me a oh i'm actually stuff. chatting in the wrong one so it wasn't that it was just was i laying in that chat day, down in my own know, freaking it, it gave me this <laughs> um, what an idiot post, i believe i put it in my general let's see if i, I wonder he's not seeing it so it says we've detected content on your live stream that may belong to somebody else and has not corrected following. You're laying down hate from a distance, but you're doing it in my abuse. chat. <laughs> you may not have intended to include this content, but live streams should be actively monitored by the channel owner and any potential Copy issues should be drink. corrected in a timely manner. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm wondering if I didn't see it get struck once or twice already and that was the third time in in the show and i wasn't but I, I, i'm listening to it but i'm yeah. i'm gonna go back to uh to drawing yeah you were oh, you were putting you were putting all that stuff into my chat <laughs> your moon is upside down 
Oh, you know what? <laughs> Man, all, all of Australia moved across the All right. Come on. Why is it turned my camera? <laughs> so. So I'm up right. Where am I at here? I got to get, I got to get out of this. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Was it uh, Grim? He's, he comes on the discord the other day and he's like, um, I'm, I'm leaving all of the servers except for um, good logic. And I just, I mean, I, I'm not crawling around discord wondering what's going on with everybody. I just go in there once in a while to see if there's, um, you know, just to say hi to some people or, or, or whatever. Um, but I, and in fact, it was cool. Frog and I were, were talking about it. Um, there was some drama with uh, someone at not, um, not mad core, but some other guy that they ended up just basically kicking to the curb. And, um, and he was, he was telling me about it. That, that, you know, the guy was basically up to no good. He was a, a, like a big con man or whatever. And I'm like, I don't know, man, I just come in here once in a while. I don't invest that much time in this um you know i mean i know that you're all real people and stuff but if you decide to uh you know do something else or or you don't answer me right away i just you know i treat it the way that i would want it to be treated which is sorry i got busy and um it's almost like the, the weird thing is what it reminds me of is when um aol was new and there was always you know these you know, like chat rooms. And, um, I, you know, I think Dennis Miller put it the best. He goes like the AOL chat room was an intergalactic freak show. Um, you know, just, um, you know, like, yeah, they're, they're, they're real people, but, um, you know, getting wrapped up into all, all that stuff, it just seemed, it seemed very early two thousands to me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, pounding at the keyboard. Making sure everybody knows how, how relevant we all are. Uh, yeah, uh, what was the other one? Um, I was on Excite for a while. I actually remember having free internet access through something that was basically it was a it was a browser and you could connect to the internet. It just had a banner ad at the top, like all the time. Yeah, all the autisms. It yeah, nothing puts me on the spectrum faster than Discord drama. <laughs> yeah, you know, and it's 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 weird. It's a lot like. Um, when you have, um, like, you know, like, like, like Twitter drama, you know, it's a place where you go to like let off some steam or, you know, share stuff with people or whatever. But, um, you know, when people get, you know, take it so seriously where, and, and I guess it would actually be a huge problem if it was like you're Nick Ricada and you're making a living and, uh, doing this stuff. And, um, or what was the other one the one, the one server that I'm in, um, John Delarose, who does a lot of, uh, he's, he's a, he does a lot of comics books, writing, uh, regular books. And, um, and he's got his opinions, which everybody's allowed to have. And he expresses them the way that he wants to, which is, you know, what, you know, which is his, his want to do. And that's, that's how he does it and, and fine. And if somebody has a problem with it, that's okay. And you can, but then to have, you know, to, to, to have such a problem with it, that you go through the effort of having a project of his taken down from Indiegogo so that he's forced to use a platform that he doesn't like. And the thing that, that I really hated about that was I haven't even started um, campaigning this book that I'm only now just, you know, finishing the artwork on one panel for this thing. Um, but
But if Indiegogo is going to listen to what one person says and their opinion about, um, you know, whoever, about fill in the blank, and cancel somebody's cancel somebody's campaign based on listening to one side of the story, I don't, or whatever it is, or even if it's true or not, I don't consider that working with adults. That that's um that's real strange. Uh, that's real odd to me. Oh, you're an arch. I like say, well, are you doing it for fun? Because if you're the actual source of Discord drama, early enough, and yeah, I can do that. Oh, you're talking about um, uh, Blunder Island. That he went through that he went through the trouble to um, to throw shade on somebody and do it through a and do it through a book. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I did not back that book. This mostly because it is a little bit of a busybody. But then at the same time, and I don't know what this says about me as a person or whatever, but. Um, I've I've uh, I've experienced uh, I've experienced Liam Gray. It's a, he's a strange animal, man. Oh, okay. What am I? Okay, so with the with uh, the B word. Did I say that? Did I say the B word? Or was it a verb, like complaining? And by the way, hi, Susie. And are you, are you Susie, because you're, you're wearing the the disguise of the YouTube, uh, the, the YouTube high priestess? Maybe um, in my uh, in my mind, and who knows, they uh, they are apt to change. Um, if if you're um, you know interacting with somebody, that's one thing. But if you're actually trying to mess with their money, that's entirely something else. And I don't know that making a comic book that makes fun of somebody else to the extent that you're actually able to do it. Comedy is a lot of time. It's kind of hard to pull off. That's why I didn't bother with it. You have to know a lot about what's going on. And I didn't, so I wasn't going to bother um, spending my money on it. I don't think I would have anyways. But um, having an opinion about someone is one thing, but messing with their messing with their living is totally different. But that's just, uh, that's just me. So... So all you have to do is, oh, okay. Well, so you have the copyright claim, and then the whole thing stops until the copyright claim is figured out. I mean, how hard is it to go look at the campaign and make some sort of a summary judgment on whether it should or shouldn't be taken down? I mean, I get it. You know, we live in a litigious society, so you have to, you know, watch your P's and Q's. But... Um, People do that all the time. They just, you know, file something and then somebody's life stops. And um, I've never, I've never been down with that. So let's see. What? <laughs> Yeah. 
Well, I'll have to watch it, I guess. I know you can't say uh, the governor, the former governor of California, Arnold's last name, because the algorithm will think that you're tossing out a racial slur. I mean, that's at least that's what I heard. You can't say who was in, who was a top billing in Predator. Is that true? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Well, and then um, what is uh, Spanish for for black? So it's two of them, Schwarz, and then um, how you spell it, N-E-G-R-O. This is, I believe that's Latin or Spanish for black. So he's got kind of both of them in there, and it's a German name. So, wow, he's he's really banging on all cylinders there. I guess Arnold doesn't do a lot of promoting on, on YouTube. But uh, to Jason's thing, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I hate to admit it, but I was drawn into the controversy. First, I was like, what are you talking about? That's a thing that can happen, you know, question mark, question mark, because, you know, for somebody who's just getting into this, you kind of want to know where all the bear traps are before you step in them. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't know. If it's... Um, Maybe he didn't expect. Well, I, I guess on the okay. So you're one of the, one of the things is that uh, you know they'll say like, well, Liam is childish or whatever, or he's a, basically a flake, not for uh, not for real. This 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 part of this arm is really bugging the hell out of me. It's like it's that inside where the bicep is down here, and the tricep is this way and usually when you have your hand in that position the inside part of the bicep comes off pretty straight so but then i guess i know what you're talking about what did you expect um this is the person this is this is what you've been saying about this person how they are and then when they you know, when what you get was already advertised, why act surprised about it? Yeah. Uh, Jason, I totally agree. Holding a grudge is, um, I have, I have something like that myself. I don't necessarily hold a grudge. In fact, in the one, um, the one person that I don't deal with anymore, I don't deal with them because I, actually I'm a little bit more upset with myself on that one because I should have seen it coming. Um, you know, I had heard, I had heard some things that never really washed out in my case personally. It was a, a, a customer slash friend who offered an opportunity and then uh, kind of pulled the football out like Charlie Brown style. Um, and I just basically, I don't, I don't talk to the person anymore. If somebody asks me what happened, I'll tell them. Um, but then I basically, I just sound like everybody sounded when they were talking to me, you know, just, you know, be careful, watch your ass, blah, blah, blah. There, I can probably, I don't know. I, I can probably live with that for now, but, uh. But I do know that uh, it does not say uh, forgive and forget anywhere in the Bible. It says forgive. If you were going to forget, that would mean that you're not using your brain, the one that God gave you, 
So, you know, forgive and definitely uh, remember, definitely learn from it. But, um, you know, in, in, in the grand scheme of things, I don't think that John Delarose is going to end up losing a ton of money because one book didn't get sold on Indiegogo. Uh, not sure. Hey, finally, just your voice. I don't know what that means. But it is as smooth as honey. I don't know if um, I've experienced people not reading um, my chats and understanding what they mean, and it's frustrating. I don't want to misunderstand what uh, Susie is saying there. Yes. Okay. Thanks for hanging out, Susie. Forgiveness, forgiveness. Ew, I just why don't I show this? I know I can do that. Uh, don't swallow the poison. Expect the other person to die. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, I know that uh, no one's ever learned anything from succeeding. And. Um, you know, that goes for relationships, too. You know what? I just loaded, I just loaded Bot Sentinel, um, started using it today, and I only found, like, well, I don't even know if it was a bot. It just said that it was a bot. You know, it had red in color, uh, 84%, and then when I said, hey, this says you're a bot, it started, started sounding like it didn't understand English very well, like it had to answer me. But it didn't, it didn't, it was like whatever the, like a, I am imagining like in a Chinese bot farm, what you're going to get is a lot of copy and paste, copy and paste. But when they actually have to start talking on their own and defend the fact that they're not a bot, they don't sound like they know, they don't sound like they know English. What was the thing is uh, somebody was saying like it might be a, a, like a bot sentinel might be a, um, like the software itself that not, not not using it, uh, but whoever created it, it, he, it might be like illegal, like a copyright thing. If he's if he's using Twitter code to expose Twitter itself then um, that might be prob problematic. In fact, it was that news story that made me download it. <laughs> it's like, oh, cool. Something that Twitter doesn't like. Sold. Yeah, um, yeah. Like I only use it a couple of times. It, it, it tends to be the case. Um, you get into something for a little bit until you find out that it doesn't actually have any real um, utility. I was just, I was just Twitter curious. In fact, I tried to. Uh, so I, I I I tweeted on a different account that I use. It's mostly like like politically driven. I try to. I treat. I have two accounts. I keep the art and creative stuff away from the uh, 
from the political stuff as much as I can, although you'd be surprised how much those two things bleed over, boy. Um, see, this should be a direction that's going like that, and it's not. So privacy protection against being a bot. So like if you're a bot, then you have Fourth Amendment rights. But um, if you claim that uh, the election went exactly as planned, you get raided. Ah, right. Oh, um, you're saying that um, there may be a, uh, a TikTok aspect to it. Let me just take care of that real quick since I really don't care one way or the other. There. Gone. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm telling you what, you want to stick with, uh, uh, you want to have um, a stranglehold on current events, you got to start streaming. Get some good, smart people in your chat. Tell you what's going on, tell you what's up. All right, I'm not even sure if that's how those, I'm pretty sure that's not how those muscles go, but I'll figure it out. I'll have to drag out my anatomy books, I'm sure, before this is over. I want this to be pistol grip on the shotgun. And this is going to go here. And yes, he's going to have bad trigger discipline. Anytime you see my head do this, <laughs> if you see my head do this, I'm like trying to zero in on what the chat is saying. Uh, going from the other other screen, trying to focus in. All right, tang. There, that's going to be the. Oh, speaking of shotguns, I just uh, I was just told that uh, we got to have a, a gun show on Saturday, not too far away from not too far away from here. And would I like to go? And I was like, laws, yes. But uh, it's all going to depend on whether I end up uh, working on this uh, pickup truck. I, I might end up lettering somewhere on the other side of town so half of me is like yeah i could use the money you know side money it's uh and the other half is i hope this guy doesn't call me back or uh, decides that he wants me to do it another day or something like that because i haven't the, i haven't seen the uh, couple of guys that are going i haven't seen them in like forever actually uh family members i haven't seen them in forever and i might um i might call it soon right here because i gotta get up early and i still need to make myself um i still need to be bathed and get my cake Yeah, you know what? I do. I have um jeez, if I I got like a lot of a lot of books and I'll be completely honest, it's it's 
probably not the best thing to admit to, but once you realize that a lot of books on how to draw are very much the same as, um, oh, well, thanks for hanging out, Jason. I appreciate it. I like having people up, up, up in this chat talking about my uh, septic tank and, um, and the various shit shoes that I have. Um, but um, those uh, those drawing books, a lot of times, I'll, I'll, I'll get them, and it's great, and I'll have to go past all the stuff, like, I already know this, and I already know this, um, and try to pick up on some, like, new information, whatever, but a, a lot of times, I, I feel like I, I get them because they're, they, they're like a whoopee more than they are a book. They're like a good luck charm, you know, you keep them around, and, you know, just in case you really get stuck, and, um, but I think, I think I'm doing okay. But um, yeah, we're gonna save this. Should should have saved before. I think I like the way that guy's turning out. And I mean, one of the big important things too is to make sure that I can get this done in a timely manner. I mean, I've seen. Um, I mean, I'm basically reworking almost half this page. I couldn't get the perspective right on um, on Shotgun Guy, and then my storytelling was was off. Um, I'll probably what it'll end up happening is what normally happens, where I'll walk away from it, I'll have fresh eyes, and I'll come back and I'll see all the things that I need to change. But um, I think for tonight I, I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot here so hey uh, for those you finally got here now I'm just ready to, to, to end the thing cool frog come on now that ain't fair um, yeah because it's like almost 10 o'clock and I'm I'm notoriously terrible at getting any kind of decent sleep so thanks for hanging out Jason Susie cool frog um, I guess the other the other stream ended the one that I was uh, uh okay all right here we go all right I'll, maybe I'll go on for a couple more minutes Are you there what in the world what you sent me a link for your show yeah it was a while back and then you told me uh you were gonna <laughs> oh, be in um, oh yeah, I, I was I was sitting with Madcore on, on right. stream with him for for a little while. We were uh, holding a conversation or whatever. Uh, were, were you closing up shop? Is that what you're doing? Uh, I was kind. Of, well, I mean, I was I was kind of thinking about it, but I'm a I'm a sucker for I crave attention, and if you're gonna give me some, then you know I'll stick around for a little bit. Since you, you know, you made the effort to stop in. Well, I, 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 yeah. I, I'm working like a, I'm working daylight, so I get up at like six o'clock, and I still have some stuff I need to do to get myself ready. And this is after a while. This this stuff like this turns it turns into a wrestling match. But um, tell me what's going on. Uh, not much. You want to dish about Grim? Every we were actually all in here just talking about, um, you know, the the kind of weird drama that happens in like you know streaming and servers and stuff like that. And it was like it reminded me of the early days of AOL chat rooms. Um. Yeah. Yeah. It it it'd give you that feeling. Uh, I suppose we can we can do that. It, it give you oh. that feeling of 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 it. You know. You know. There's just so much happening. So much on your plate, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, juggling. Are people getting butt hurt because they're like you have to like leave and do life, and then you're like you're um, away for it, too it's long. It's not and... really even that. It's it's the the taking things like wrenches to the next oh. level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I. One for you know that I have for sure should yeah. never go away. Couple others. What do you mean the one that you have for sure that 
uh, the wrench that you have for just, else. just cause she does a great job for me. Oh she, yeah. She's oh, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. best Jessica's wrench great, or yeah. whatever. So it's like her wrench will never go away. I'll never change yeah. her away. No, that's great. Everybody else's, you know, it, 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 you really, you seriously have to know what you're using it for, why yeah. you're using it and what mm -hmm. they're actually implemented for. Um, it seems that there's been a lot of, uh, quote unquote wrench talk as of lately. Okay. That's so weird. And right, and, and and it just exactly, Susie. She does a great job, and that's yeah, pretty much yeah, what it comes down good. to. Is when she she's willing to do the work, uh, for uh, the simpleness of being able to hang out with me on a on a daily basis. It, it, it doesn't. It's it's wonderful that people are are awesome enough to be friends to actually want to do something like that. When they start yeah, I mean, she's those... someone, and not only that, well, she's not doing a ton of talking when she's on there. I mean, she's it's, there, and you can hear, and why. she adds some stuff, but she's constantly throwing links out. Right. And I know why. It's because she's she's actually a college student, and she's, she's doing her homework. Right, okay. You know, so this is, she's got so much that she's got going on in her life, and she's willing to still wrench for me on a daily basis. And still put out links for anybody and everybody that's on the show. Right. Uh, for I've even seen her throw links up for people that are in the that just so happen to come through chat or whatever. It's, right. She happens yeah, to know I'm, who they are. Right. She's uh, like, yeah, oh she's hey, good. she's good marketing. Yeah. Right. Check out that. You know, that oh, look, see that person. See what they just said. They say a lot um, more of that. You know. <laughs> you know. So it, it's. What's that? Wait. Who? Susie. Or are you talking about Jason? I'm just talking in general. Oh yeah. Oh oh oh. You mean um, you're just talking about like uh, throwing shade yeah. on people? Yeah. No. Right. Exactly. And you get you get these people that are that I'm are like reading my know. chat. What did I miss? <laughs> They're taking their wrenches too far. Well, no. I mean, we had um, when we were talking about it before. I was reminded that um, I had a wrench for. I had a wrench for uh, expert. It was like the first wrench I ever had. And you know, I was like, okay, well, and I think it mostly, he just gave it to me so that I could put links in, you know, like if I wanted to add something uh, to the, uh, like every way it's hit and miss. Like I'll do that on your show. Like, check this out. This is super relevant if you get to it in time. Um, and sometimes it's not, but um, yeah, you're supposed to be promoting other channels, make sure that the porn bots don't come in and, you're um um you know and it's, keeping and it's, the language it's clean. not that everybody needs to be like jessica either no right but like keeping the language clean it's yeah it, it's, but, right. there's a you reason those you couple those couple that are out there that are actually doing those couple things for me and just paying attention to the chat and what is actually being said in chat yeah so that way you know if something looks a little off and there's a reason that youtube decided to flag it that you know, we actually know why YouTube decided to flag it. Some people are really good. Like I'll even notice on um, on uh, like Ethan Van Skyver's channel and some of the other comics gate, you'll see the same ones. Um, but when I lost mine, it, it was just not there one day. You know, my name was a different color, and it didn't have the wrench, and it didn't it didn't bother me. Uh, I mean. I, I, I wondered about it, but when I listen to when I listen to expert talk about you know whatever it is that he's doing, I know he's trying to honestly like build a channel and you don't want somebody in there who's either doesn't understand the seriousness of it um, you know to Which, just actually at, actually at the wanna, same time but it the, didn't bother the seriousness me. is it comes at different levels. You know, right. So when you when, you know when you actually get down to the seriousness of actually doing YouTube, it's how many people do you want to be there, and mm -hmm. how many people do you think will actually stick around if you keep on doing the correct content that they're you know willing to watch. Yeah. And th that's it's hard to do. Is I, I have a following. I got a you know quite a few people that actually do enjoy watching me, that enjoy watching what I do on a on, you know, during the week, it's like weekends come or whatever, you know, Fridays, Saturdays. And I have the tendency, it's not that I do it on purpose, but it, it's the, 
not wanting to cut anybody off and there always being somebody talking that when all of a sudden it comes to that point of I need to talk us and I'm like, yeah, oh, shit. yeah, I don't know what to go, where to go next. Well, you said that to you me know. once because there was like it was like a couple of people were making a and I honestly don't even remember what the point was, but you had you would use those two words, my show. <laughs> no, right. I mean, like, but the, and, and the I have I, like, I have at times would be like, oh, wait a minute, no, that's not what we, 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 we turn back a little bit. Let's go back to this side, or whatever. Right. Let's, go, let's, go, let's, go, let's, you know, let's try. Right, and the this, only way that you're going to be able to do that is if you're dealing with adults. No, yeah, right. You know, which that can be interesting in itself. Rare, but you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, I mean, I it's, just I just try not to tell you. Or I don't think a lot of there is some there is some finger seriously. pointing to go along with my, uh, you know, the things that I was going through because I'm currently on a a, a week off strike. Oh yeah, so. <clears throat> what was that? I can't. I mean, you I had, was, was watching the AFL, or is that it was? The, it, was it was the Australian the football league stuff. But you just came off a strike, and then yep, Madcore, came off one, put me right back on another. Madcore got it. Uh, was it was the game though, right? Yeah. What yeah, was it before it, that though? And I'm only asking because I you've got more experience with this than I do. Like Susie's um, saying, they're coming down on uh, certain words. They're adding to the list. They're, right. They're, they're, it's continuously changing, uh, which can be kind of dangerous in itself. Um, you know, so, I mean, as, as far I was just I, hearing things in my house. So as far as things go, you know, you really kind of distracted me is what that did. What you, the noise? Yeah, somebody yeah. come in the house distracted me. Uh, so yeah, so uh, you have to pay attention to uh, whatever. I mean, it's uh, honestly, it's it's like uh, when YouTube comes out and says we don't wear pink on Wednesdays anymore. Now we wear pink on Thursdays, and you don't know that until you wear pink on Wednesdays, and then they uh, they rag you for it. And you're like, it's always been Wednesday. What are you talking about? You're yeah, like, right. Change it. It's Thursday, and you're like, oh. I wear a pink shirt every day if I want. <laughs> right. You know, I, I, as far as that goes. Yeah. It, I wasn't on just, YouTube. Wait, of course. I, I. I mean, I clearly I don't act like it, but I wasn't on YouTube back when. I could. I could. Professional YouTubers are were calling out of it, referring but, to it as the Wild West. Right. I mean, I could. I could probably um, do the the whatever. Do the claim uh, or the dispute, and okay, yeah. So it's like going to court for a speeding ticket. You could go to court for a speeding ticket, or you could just behave yourself for six months and wait for the points to come off. Uh, right, and and it just so happened I catch it, it caught the strike the day after the other one fell off. Seriously, the day after. Yeah. Like if it would have happened like a couple hours before, mm -hmm. I would have gotten two weeks, but I only got one week. It was one week one followed week by one week, or was right. it a couple of days followed by? Yeah, because they compound. Then is what you're saying, right? If okay. if I would have gotten the second one, whatever you know, hours before, they would have given me two weeks off. They would have said I'm done, but no, nope, they only gave me the one week. Darth Hideous. Why does Darth Hideous have a French? I was just throwing him out because, uh, take, because take that away from him now. He doesn't. He doesn't. I don't think he cares one way or the other. It was like way back. He was kind of like making a joke about it because I said like, no, just you know, remove it. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Is it way back here? I walk away for twenty minutes to take a phone call, and you got frog on. Of course, he's got. Well, the frog we were on. talking. We were talking about my septic tank too. So he is. He was Don't listen to frog. Moral support. Yeah, see, and that's why that right there. F that guy. That straight out verbiage can actually do things to people's uh -oh. shows. Don't do anything to my show, Darth. Take take it away. Well, he's still gonna be. Uh, 
Okay, so if he's got a wrench, then he can f around. But if he doesn't have a wrench, it'll show up gray. But if he didn't have that wrench, it yeah. would it would have shown up as something that was blocked by. I love a wait. What we can't say. Fuck. Uh oh. Divinity's in the house. What's up, Divinity? Is she, is she back? Okay. It says, it and says she's, she's got a wrench too. I need to take wrenches away from all these people. No. Oh, you, you just you got to control your crowd, dude. You got to know who's there. Can who's you playing use the game correctly? You, who's not? Can, can you all use a different word besides that one? Don't don't use any words that start with F or or B. All the best words in the English language start with P. No no C words. Yeah. No, we can't use that one either. That's one of my favorites. There, there you go, Divinity. Divinity figured it out. Fuck. With there you pH. go. Now, what about the phonetically? Does the algorithm pick up on you saying it? Or just uh, being in the chat? Because I hear that thrown out all over the place. <laughs> Divinity is like, what happened? Darts his frog showed up and got gay. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's gay with an H, right? G H E Y? Well, that's not how he. No, put seriously, it. honestly, like I don't, I don't, I don't know anybody on here well enough to to understand like if they're yes. joking or not because yes. you do I have. Br a, I brought my frogs off. No, you, you do have a and divinity are usually kind of pretty funny when it comes down to it. I don't have a problem with one of them. Okay. I just. You know, it's not like we were, that, we were using the, the verbiage that, uh, that they were using as a for instance. Yeah. Um, you know when when people you know take away wrenches they take them away on purpose right you know they don't usually just take them away to you know just take them away they take them away because there's a lot of power behind those things yes with great power comes great responsibility i didn't even uh, i didn't even pretend to be upset with uh with expert you know anybody that can stand to uh be in front of me for 20 minutes and and, and watch me eat um you know, it takes a lot of guts. So gotcha, we'll always we'll, we'll always have <laughs> we'll always have Tennessee. But you know, I mean, you know what? I know what I'm doing wrong here. What are you? What What are you even? So this this story. Um, this, uh, what's this, the story? Yeah. What What's the story? What's this book that you're writing, drawing? creating yeah it's called asphalt and um it revolves around a um like a hot rod fabricator guy you know it's just that's that's his his business and um he's a, a state level uh wrestler and had studied some you know martial arts and things like that when he was a when he was a youth um got in trouble with the cops and stuff like that. But as his you know, life went along, instead of uh, ending up in jail for starting too many bar fights, um, he ended up working in the uh, police motor pool and meeting a guy who would end up becoming his... Um, there's a lot of moving parts to this. So it's like, if I just grab the one, um, you know, if I just grab the one vine that happens to be swinging in my head at the moment, but um, the elevator pitch is that uh, this one character, um, Shane McCabe, his daughter, which is his only, um, the only connection he has to his, to his dead wife, uh, has been kidnapped. And he is um, trying to get her back. And he's got to deal with a, a a corrupt everything there's a, a corrupt uh police department um you know politicians and you know the whole traffic you know human trafficking thing goes all the way up uh to the top um so he doesn't know who to trust he has a small like tight uh, bunch of people that he knows from doing um restoration work on cars and tricking out hot rods and things like that but 
uh, it's like a, like this helmet that he's got on here with the the happy face there. It's it's think of it like Iron Man or Batman on a budget, where he is making this stuff, um, and it's uh, and he gets some help from like a like a tech guy. I mean, there's a little bit of Punisher in it. There's a little bit of Iron Man. There's a little bit of Batman. There's a little bit of A Team. There's a little bit of um, you know, I'm just like taking different because everything's derivative of everything else. I don't know that you're going to be able to come up with an original idea. In fact, I believe it actually says that in uh, Ecclesiastes, there's nothing new under the sun. There's there's no such thing as an original idea. I heard somebody say just an undiscovered way of plagiarizing someone else. So he's out looking um, and this is page four of uh, he, he ends up in a um, he ends up looking for her in an old like rundown building that's being used as a movie studio slash dropping off point. So let's see if I can uh, and but but I, what I'm doing is this this first two panels was something completely different. Like this page looked a lot different, but when I showed it to the guy that's helping me write slash edit. He was giving me some ideas on how to change it. And um, um, and then, you know, we were talking about, well, what I'd like him to do is to accept the idea that, you know, I want to put his name on the book, but I also want to get a regular schedule going with him, something where we can both hold each other accountable and get some stuff done in a timely manner instead of just piecemeal, you know, like when I don't have anything else to do, this is what I work on. You know, I, I want to like shove a lot of stuff out of the way um, you know, painting pickup trucks this, might be one this of them. Is fun. This is fun, though. So, Well, yeah, I mean, since the thing is that I've thought about all the detail and stuff that goes into this character that I, it's, it's hard not to get lost explaining it to somebody. Um, Cause there's, you know, like these there's, hooks there's and stuff room he, for growth for it. So I mean, as far as well, that goes, yeah. Well, and that's a lot where of, this a lot will of these, eventually take you someday. I think. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of the, the stuff that I would want to say all at once wouldn't even happen in this book. I mean, you don't, this, this starts off with the first eight pages as a, the end of like a, a three month, but he's still, he's still been looking for his daughter. And then it goes into how we got here. You know, if you've ever experienced that, it's not Tarantino where it's a bunch of different stories all over the place and everything's out of order, um, like a Pulp Fiction or anything like that. But it is a start off with action and then go three months before and go with, you know, the, um, the there's a private investigator who's found out what's going on inside the police department with, you know, like child trafficking. And uh, there's a construction company involved where they're using phase one housing, you know, places where people haven't even moved in yet as a place to hold some of the, just the, use your, use the worst parts of your imagination, what they're doing in there. You know what I mean? Like with, with kids. Mm -hmm. And and his daughter goes missing and he's he's looking for and he's trying to do it on his own because he doesn't want the people that he is friends with to get um, hurt. You know, even though they do want to uh, to help. Um, but everything revolves around, you know, that like it doesn't all revolve around this. But one element is that there's there are cars, there's different characters that have um different functions and they have different here i'll see if i can pull up some characters here for you uh, comic asphalt characters okay so let's see i'll stop sharing i'll save it first and then just quit stop sharing stop sharing you're done sharing no, I'm I'm sharing this one instead. Oh, okay. So let's see. This is um, this is this is everything that has to actually do with uh, meat hook. Like those are his his boots. So the, a lot of this is reference material. That's that is his uh the straight jacket that he wears as part of his costume. That's something that he wore. 
for a Halloween one. So it was a nickname that was given to him by his wrestling coach. He called him Houdini. This is actually Houdini straight jacket. Okay, he's wearing one like it. But they used to call they called him Houdini because he had this incredible knack for being able to get a two points on a reversal. Okay. And um uh, and just not get tangled up. In fact, I was toying with the idea that you don't actually have superpowers in this universe. You just have unexplainable advantages where um it's he's he's just real slippery. Um and these are just other pictures of it. I was trying to, you know, create the costume and um, looking at as much reference material as I could. But you see the similarity. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyways, uh, let's see here. Okay. Back to Finder. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this was a drawing. I was, okay. Yeah, the Kevlar straps that go around his, his arms. Um. There's uh let's see. There's a drawing. I, I kind of finished him. Uh, let's see. I'm getting stuff opening up in the wrong thing. Yeah. Uh, you're not seeing uh, my preview. I'm not sharing preview. I'm I'm seeing a screen. No, I'm the wrong one. I want preview. Yeah. So that's that's basically what he looks like. So let's see if I open. Let me see if I can just drag all of these. Okay. So this is that working? No. If I drag this into here. No. Open with preview. I'm just going to share the monitor. That's what I should be doing. Man, I was having such a, a hard time trying to figure out how to get OBS to work. I thought I had it figured out, and then I clicked something that I shouldn't have. Okay. <clears throat> this is IT Ted. He's the guy that handles, uh, like, satellite hookups and communications. Okay, so the guy that um, is wearing the helmet, where did he go? Yeah, the guy that's... Come on. Yeah, the guy that's wearing the helmet. If you notice these, like, these, these dots around his head, those are sensors, like a backup sensor you'd have on your car. Okay. So inside here, you can see it's like, um, it's like a virtual reality. Uh, like a um, freaking, what are those things called? Oculus, okay, but more of a cutting edge type thing. Not Tony Stark level crap, okay, but just something that his computer guru would be able to get a hold of before anybody else. And he's got a couple of different cameras on there. So stealing something from Predator, he's got some FLIR, some telescopic, some, you know, uh, night vision and things like that. He can record, he can, you know, so he can see what's going on outside, but it's more of a 360 kind of a thing. So there's cameras and sensors all around this helmet so he can see behind him he can he can tell when something's going to be getting close but he also has um but he also has where is he where did it go preview but he also has this guy watching from the top down with a satellite feed so this basically his you know hacker person kind of like microchip um, this is, I, I, I'm watching you chat well, yeah. real fast. So I, I noticed uh, TRs here, tonic walked in the door. And yeah. There's just, all you have to do is say, I'm all right. I'm getting ready to I'm get ready to bail. And then that's when everybody's like, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. And they all show up. Right. I see divinity says, shall we drink? She, what, what what do you got in your? It's a Miller Lite, leftovers from watching football yesterday. I didn't really even watch football yesterday. I was watching the Steeler game. There wasn't much of a game. Um, but this yeah. is uh, this is Trish. This is a little um, um, his little his helper in the shop. Ad says I don't do anything without a beer. 
I said that. Yeah, and that's actually a line from one of the Ultimates. Tony Stark is an alcoholic in the comic books. There you go. Is that Elijah Craig? I couldn't tell. Uh, Jefferson. Jefferson? Yeah, Jefferson. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is uh, like I was trying to find um, a look for her. And in this, and this is a, in a Dead Daisies video. And I didn't even realize that I just like stopped at this frame. I'm like, that's her face. That's what she's supposed to look like. Uh, turns out this girl here is a is a midget or dwarf, whichever whichever one is the the right one to say. But her face is perfect. That's what I want her to look like, a little chola. But she's um, she, she's uh, she's like really important uh, to the story. And then later on, there's some other. Uh, let's see. This is um, this is his uh, wife's father. He was a uh, he was a retired cop. Um, this is his friend, Detective Johns. I don't even know if I've got his looks settled, uh, if I want to do long hair or something like this. I've just been scanning stuff in because I know all this stuff is going to come in later. Um, I've been trying to do, uh, pictures of his daughter, Melanie to, you know, get a, an idea what she's going to look like. That's like that right there. That's too big. Um, that's a little bit more like I was thinking like a uh, boo from uh, Monsters Inc. You know. So there seems to be some. I think I misunderstood it. Maybe potentially. That's the girl that gets kidnapped. No, the 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 chola thing. Chola. Yeah, that's like um like a Hispanic thug chick. Oh, okay. Yeah, does that make sense? Uh, sure. Uh, well, that's... I okay, so... Know, I just didn't understand the term, and that's when, like, real quick. Right. Um, well, the guy that's helping me write it, he's um, he's a Mexican-American. He understands. In fact, I'm, like, I'm relying on his ability to speak Spanish. because so there's divinity a really... is a chola with no eyeliner. Like, that girl didn't have any, but I, I want mine to. Yeah. Um, this guy, uh, he's uh, like an EMT. Um, and everybody's got their own specific car. Like Ted has a 32 Ford Roadster that's got that rumble seat in the back. But and under his rumble seat is uh, mobile communications. So his whole thing, it looks like a rat rod on the outside, but there's actually, you know, it's quite technological it's like not not like night rider kit or anything like that but um you know technologically he could go up against any cop car with the computer in there and you know but actually be able to like link up and see what meat hook is doing and where he's going this guy custom van you know bed on the inside or refrigerator and stuff like that but all over the place because he's like he's, he's an emt um, you know, his parents are hippies, you know, he's a hippie. So his knowledge of medicine comes not just from, you know, studying the, so the uh, that immediately video. gives him a man bun. Yeah. I gave him a, I gave him a hippie look. <laughs> <clears throat> so that's pretty that's, awesome. Uh, your, your drawings are, Oh, this are is the best cool. part. Um, these guys, in fact, I need to find a better one than that. Uh, where where did it go? I got too many windows open. Adrian and Alex. Okay, these are these are two thugs. Now this is an idea that I straight pulled from um, uh, Escape from L.A. There was the sequel to Escape from New York. Okay. Okay, you remember seeing that or no, or didn't you? I, it wasn't very good, but it was like one of those ones that had like moments of brilliance. There's a scene in there where there's a there's a doctor in the city. He's crazy, but his whole thing is he is a plastic surgeon. And um, I wanted this guy to look like those freaking Vinkel, whatever these twins are right here. These two big dudes. Yeah, see these guys. In front. 
need, I need to bring it up to the front. It's, no, I, I get the point. I yeah. see what you. So, so, you know, it's one of the things I wanted to be able to, um, to not, not in the face, right? Not in the face, not in the face, very mm -hmm. expensive, but, um, but there's, um, there's a, there's a hook at the end because up until, um, well, I don't want to give it away. Uh, sure. I'll save it. But yeah, this was the original page that had Ted with a schematic. Like I had to draw the inside of this place so that I knew where these guys were going to be going upstairs and downstairs and all that. And um, there was too much going on. And so Julius was helping me. Uh, Julius Freeman, he wrote, um, he did the uh, the Ghetto Dragon. He's doing something called um, Vigilant Fury right now. But he helped me um, not yank the reader from one location to the next, um, be more efficient with uh, the details. Um, and the thing that really sucks so is like I spent a lot of can time. Can I make a it. suggestion real quick before you go too far with this? I've been sure really what? enjoying your thing. Yeah. Um, but I have the tendency to look and read chat. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. What is going on? I think. I, I think. You're gonna tell me who I need to stops, take wrenches from. I think what you need to take away, take away darts. He's never. You should ever have one. You think? Every so period. <laughs> just do it. He understands. Okay, so he knows. I just it's not just like... doing it immediately. Just because he doesn't like to play it nice, and he uh -oh. calls out people. Is, all right, so I want to see exactly what happens now. I listen to somebody else. I listen you, to you, their... I'm, I'm sorry. You don't have to. Wait, what are you saying? I, I just suggest... That's an awesome screen uh, I Just because he's going to continue. No, but he's I like the guy, like... and I want him to stick around. So, is, is, so you know, he gets a wrench or he doesn't get a wrench? I don't know I don't... what to do. I don't know what to do. Wait a minute. You're in here. Well, I'm... I am a wrench. You give are a wrench. Mine away. Okay. Give give mine to Jess. <laughs> Just yeah. saying. To who? Oh, Jessica doesn't have a wrench. Right. Give give her mine if you you know, if anything. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I right, I did the wrong. I'm getting boomer juice all over the place. Get yourself a good wrench. Uh, what's gonna <laughs> what's, what's gonna what's gonna happen to me now that I took the wrench way. away from from my uh, from Darth? <laughs> what's his face? See, I'm already like, forgetting who he was. I was like catching unsubscribe while you're at it, fam. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah, he subbed to me. I need those subs. Well, we all show need me those your friends. Subs. Show me show, show me your friends and I'll show you your we, future. Well, exactly. We well, this all, is we going all... out to this is going out to Facebook too, so I probably shouldn't have said anything about that that <laughs> that perfectly secure election. <laughs> Jess is like, I never part. signed up for this. <laughs> uh, yeah, That's all fun. right. I don't know. Don't... Maybe it'll just be like our <laughs> thing. It'll it'll be like playing hard to get. I'll give him his wrench, and then I'll take it away. Ooh, he might like that. Like playing hard to get. Well, he still has one, though. Take it away and see what he does and give it back. No, I, I... take it away and then give it back. It says it's no longer a moderator. Can uh, can wrenches give wrenches away, or just me? I think it's no, just me, just right? just you. Just the owner can give away wrenches, That's take away wrenches. The, the wrenches the come ID, with great great responsibility. ID giveth and ID taketh away. I'm trying to I'm trying to see what happens like later on on the channel here. It's like, do not do that. I took his oh, wrench man. and he's saying don't do it. Oh no. They call me Rose. You know what would really suck is if I gave everybody but Darth Hideous a wrench. Then he'd really unsub. I'm not. I'm not liking that. I'm getting. I got 717 subs. I wonder what I should do for a thousand subs. You know, that's one of the way to get subs is promise them. Um, you know, like streaking across the quad if you get a thousand subs or something like that. Ooh. See, she's using the F word, and the R word. Divinity. We can't keep like fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that reminds me. Oh, I gotta get that. 
I was watching one of my one of my favorite movies, and it's actually I would consider it to just be a, despite a it, keep, let her keep the wrench. Who? Which one? Divinity. How? When you put <laughs> someone in timeout, do you put them in timeout for a specific amount of time, or or uh, can you make it like an hour, hour five minutes, or is it just? Stream decides when it should happen. I, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta send this to myself and then save it. Because I love, I want, I definitely want to keep this in the. Uh... Wouldn't do that. Pretty sure it's illegal. <laughs> Sorry. I just got I got this collection of stuff over here that I hardly ever use like did you just refer to me as white devil this how they know you <laughs> he is um, don't do that Tony do not eat the, well I mean, I mean, if you literally mean that you're just, you know, you're gonna eat the bullet, then okay. Like, Turn me out. I eat the bullet. Bad. I'm good. <laughs> what else do I have in here? Have you ever seen? And I know I, I, I showed this he's once like, before, but he's, he's like, I, I, if, if there's a wrench that's along my side, I was fucking with Darth. Give him his wrench. Let him be himself. Yeah, but what if? All right. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Wait a minute. Sorry, darling. can hide the user. I just fuck with no. you because I like fucking with you. What, what did you do? I, I hit him, but then I unhit him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't know. I was like, "Oh, look what else I can do! <laughs> I can, I can rule the world." <laughs> Oops. <laughs> what else do I got here? I don't know if this if this actually works. Tell me if this is too loud. How to make a green iguana? So, um, okay, all right. This, so this one, this one, this one specifically. He's, he's got his wrench goes back. Out to, how, does it, um, how does it feel, Darth? Yeah. There, there, little man. Everything is all right. I never got a chance to use these until tonight. This is great. We got a lot of good women in the chat too. We got. I mean, how many? How many chicks are in here? I'm drawing them like uh, I'm drawing them like how, a corpse. How many, how, he wants to know how many chicks are in bros. chat. Hmm. Jessica, how about, Divinity. How, how many great. women do we have here? One, two, three. Three is good. Three is okay. Three out of six. It's fifty-fifty. She's short and skinny, but she's strong. Her first baby, come out sideways. She didn't scream or nothing. To change the number. That's a good. That's a. <laughs> that's a good woman right there. All of myself, with no blue wrench. Just <laughs> 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 don't. Just don't. What are you doing here? The Again, doing? wrenches come with. With great wrenches come great responsibility. Lots and lots of. Oh, yeah, there's I'm a lot of things that they can this, do. They just. I'm trying to find. Yeah, to be able to trust them. Well, I mean, if three of them are women, then they can't be trusted. Uh oh, that goes over here. That was my. Um, let's see. I sent this to my wife, trying to get her to understand how I feel about Martha's Vineyard. So Babylon B always has a great take on these things. 50 Karens. 
Okay. All right. That's okay. Oh, it looks like Rose has put her hand up and said, I don't even trust myself. This, that's the type of person that you want to be around. The, they don't trust themselves or they, they do? Yeah. When they, I don't even no. Yeah. You don't want them to trust themselves. I don't trust myself. Exactly. The second you start trusting yourself, there's something it's wrong. Over. It sounds like Rose is due for a wrench. Just saying. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's it's not my job. It's just. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, just letting you run the fucking, chat. I'm just, just fucking with your wrenches, bro. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Uh, I'm uh, I'm I'm powerless <laughs> against I'm powerless against a deadpan sense of humor. Now, where the hell did that go? I just... Oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, let me open this. I need to say I need to save this in my uh, in my in my uh, fucking in my brand. Maybe it won't let me. I'll do it later. Don't worry about it. I just I love this line from uh, Beautiful Girls. You ever see that movie? What what was that movie? What would you just play? Uh, Beautiful Girls. It's just a lie. It's a line from Beautiful Girls. It's like a 1990s something like that. It's a pretty. I mean, it's, it it's you never heard. It of didn't it? catch me, so I no, I can't say that I've actually seen it. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so that's that's where I am on on this page. But uh, yeah, I I mean I do I get up at like six o'clock, so I kind of need to get my shit together and shit shower, make a lunch, maybe get my get my coffee together. That was another titty punch. Sorry, I'm just going through these. All right, you lot, let's make television. Your time has come, you smug bastard. The aliens are here. We're all going to die. <laughs> so, all right. Now, this is how I like to end my shows right here. I have I have a couple uh, that go together. I loved it. It was much better than Cat. I'm going to see it again and again. I loved it. It was much better than Cat. I'm going to see it again and again. Listen. I love it. It was much better than cat. I'm going to see it again and again. I have enjoyed this conversation in English. <laughs> uh, thank hey, you, everybody. Uh, thank you for hanging out, peeps. Absolutely. I couldn't have done it without you and... Uh, Come back anytime. Yeah. Yeah. Most of you come back anytime. You know who you are. And the You're rest all of you. Yeah. Like around here. So I remove that. All right. Cool, man. Let's go, Brandon. Remember, remember the 8th of November. You still reading the chat? Always do. Always do. You're such a you're 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 much better at this than I, I never do races. Thank, thank you all so very much for being here. Yeah, they call uh, me Rose. It's getting heavy. Tonic, okay. Rose. Sorry. All right, <clears throat> guys. Uh, I uh, without, you, without every single one of you, Ti. Yeah. Uh, um, Divinity, Jess. It, 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 it just put, makes uh, it so much funner and easier. Yeah, really. To do anything when you actually have an audience is. It is. It's hard. It's hard. Get, to, they give you different thoughts. They give you different ideas. It's hard to get away, though. Yeah, they do. That's. It's. I'm always better at this when there's another person on board. And when you can, when you can manipulate things and tease people with their wrenches or whatever, it's fun. If um, I go and see if I can put this in there, I can user settings. No, that's not what I want. If I want to invo invite to the server, you think that's you think that's unwise? Because I'm about to put my Discord link into the into the chat. I could I, I could be ruining everything. Oh Jesus, Jason did Jason get a wrench. Black. 
Jason Black, I seen you in here when I first come in here. I'm glad that you stuck around. Uh, nice right, to meet that, you. Does that whatever. make you feel better? Here. I'm just like Oprah. And you what, get a wrench. You, and you what did you just throw out there? You just threw out your own Discord link? Yeah. Oof. Is that dangerous? Huh? Nah. It's Not dangerous. amongst these bunch. These bunch are pretty cool. It's the yeah, well, who watches after there and, Yeah, go over there and make it fun. Give me a set. Don't don't do anything that uh, I wouldn't want to show my 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 seven year old daughter. Rose has a wrench. Yeah, <laughs> you got a wrench. You got a wrench. Okay. All right. Now, seriously though, that's that. The bladder is calling, and uh, and I gotta get my uh, gotta yeah. get my stuff together. But uh, thanks, guys, especially you, Darth. I'll see you guys. Take it easy. Later, and, everybody. Uh, have a good one. one. Take it easy.